Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Uh, thanks to you that have already subscribed to the channel. Uh, if you haven't, just click the subscribe button and, and the little bell icon and get notifications of upcoming videos. So this video is going to be about um, the Stance Plus kit. Um, in the last video I did a hub mod and lowered the van through the hub mod uh, about 25 mil but then was able to raise it 25 mil back to its original height uh, before the hub mod and thus giving me less bounce in the van because um, some of you are aware if you've got the Stars Plus kit as well it's quite bouncy um, at its lowest setting. So I wanted to go over a couple of things um, that I've done to the van or going to do to the van and maybe answer a couple of questions um, that people have asked on the channel and stuff um, so you're all aware um, you've all got the same answers that you perhaps need um, so my van is as low as it will go um, on the rear with just the rubber top mountain is now on the bottom and then the I'm going to show you. Uh, now, I've got a few bits in from the van um, because I'm sort of halfway through uh, making the video, so I'm able to show you now what I've actually taken out and stuff. Um, so, initially, um, when I fitted the suspension on the back and did the first coil over video, uh, I removed the top. Um, rubber which is this one um, and I placed it on the bottom because um, my uh, bottom rubbers were kind of perished um, so I've placed that on the bottom the adjusters that come with the kit um, so that's these guys um, I hold it up a bit clearer so you can see what's going on I removed this piece which I guess is the um, the actual adjustment for you to higher or lower so I got rid of that bit. I used the rubber like um, piece that was in it, just on top, and then I put that in upside down, obviously that way in the van. So I had no adjustments. Um, what I've done now, um, which you'll see in the video, is remove both of these and this. Uh, and the only thing I haven't done is cut the bump stops down. Uh, as for the front. Um, I was initially, before the hub mod video, running it with about, um, just trying to think, I think it was about 15, 20 mil left at the front end, um, just to stop uh, it rubbing, basically. Uh, I've gone up a scale on tyres, um, I'm a bit sad about that really. Uh, I've gone up to 45 mil profiles because we were due to go away. Um, and I wanted a bit more of a comfier ride for like the long distance journeys through France and what have you. But I guess, uh, yeah, well I'm still here, so I guess I didn't go, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. But the van has obviously got really fat tires on the mo, um, which isn't great, but the ride's lovely, so I can't really complain. Um, so on the front, I've done the hub mod, which you've seen in the last video. There's a link, now where do they go? Up there. Yes, there's a link up there in the top right hand corner or left, wherever, but it's up there. Um, go and check that out, you can see the hub mod. Before we get outside, I'm just going to return the shout out to Peaky Part Timers. Um, new to YouTube, building a bus as well, but also he's got some crazy videos of him in his garden too, trying to keep himself sane. So a big shout out to him. Also, a shout out to Jay Saunders. Um, if you haven't checked out his Instagram as well, it's at Jay Saunders please do so go give him a shout he's got some wicked youtube videos but he's also got a lot of things planned um he hasn't actually explained what they are yet but i'm sure if you follow him on instagram you'll see some of his up and coming videos too so go and take a look at him yeah big shouts let's get outside let's get finished up on the van and then i can talk you through what i've done Okay, if you remember from the hub mod video, 
uh, we took a measurement from the I suppose the bottom part of the coil stanchion here and up to this top bit so what I'm going to do now is take a measurement roughly how low I want to go and then we'll work to that I don't want to rub too much we'll see how we get on right so we've got to loosen this bottom cap up send her down and we can actually do some of this by hand okay that looks okay to me so I'm just going to take a quick measurement with the measuring tool bottom of that to there let's tighten that up let's go around the other side and match it up that's both sides about the same let's get the wheels back on and let's get it on the ground Now we're going to release the bolt that's holding the strut arm on at the back. It is under a tiny bit of pressure. So just hold on to it. Pull the bolt out. And you see the strut arm just drops down. Now we're going to drop the spring out. So we're just going to lever this down. Right, so spring is out. Put that to one side. I'm going to remove this that I put in, which was the top rubber. I'll take this cap off. And that is pretty much it. So, spring in first. pressure on that. Now we're going to have to hold that in place when we put the strut back on. Get the strut bolt in. And get that back done up. Remembering it's a 21 mil socket and spanner, you're going to need to do this. Get this up nice and tight. So if you haven't subscribed, just hit that subscribe button while you're sat waiting while I'm putting my wheel back on. Smash the like button. Comment below if you think it's going to go low enough. I'm hoping it will go a bit lower. And check out some of my other videos while we're at it. But I shouldn't be too long. 
that wheel's on, I'll come back and tighten it up in a minute. Let's get around the other side and sort the other side out. Right, so, wheel off. Now we're gonna loosen off the bolt that's holding the strut to this part of the van. You remember in some of my other videos, my knowledge of bits of the van is pretty much non-existent. Pop a little bit of pressure on the wheel. Move the spring. Take out the rubber bit we used. And if we can, take out this bit too. That's that and that out. Then we put it back together. Managed to get the nut in. Um, one of those stupid things really, I had this, the spring was in the way so I couldn't lift it high enough. Bit of a numpty, eh? Right, so let's get this done up nice and tight. Then we'll get the wheel back on and we'll drop her down and see what she looks like. Right, so wheel's on, gonna drop it down, see what she looks like. So this is how it sits at the rear at the moment. Um, and this is just a quick reminder as to what came out. Uh, this is how she's currently sitting at the front. So I've got a little bit of work to do under the arches uh, with the inner arch plastics. I'm going to try and mould a few bits on there. Um, so we'll get her back in the air and we'll have a look at that. Right, so what we're going to do is this piece here I'm just going to trim this back. Um, I know it goes up and under there, um, into the wing, into the wing of the van. But I'm going to just try and trim a piece off uh, and see how we get on. Okay, so what I've done um, is just remove this bit of plastic here, um, which was up in this gap here. Uh, which I noticed the wheel was rubbing on slightly uh, and then I've taken the suspension down a bit too um, let me just take you in there it is now about 20 mil from the bottom so hopefully that'll be a little bit lower let's get the wheel back on sort the other side out to match right so I'm happy with the other side um, Kind of move the van off the drive. I've got about, I don't know, 25, 30 meters of a close that I can sort of roll it down and then drive it back. Uh, nothing rubbed, uh, but I haven't done this side yet. Um, so I'm just going to pop this wheel off and then I'm going to grind out the same bit that I ground out on the other side. And I might need to have a look at another bit, but just see how we get on. Okay, so I've spotted a couple of bits that are still rubbing um, on this side, especially. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the uh, heat gun out and I'm just going to heat those areas up and sort of push them and mould them back. Wow. It's going to take some time. So, as I finish this up, uh, I'll bring you in to show you what areas I've worked on, but I'll catch you guys in a sec. Okay, so what I've tried to do is just melt and mould that side in there, and hopefully 
I mean, it's only plastic, so it will just rub away eventually, but obviously it will damage the tyres slightly. Um, but I'm going to get the wheel back in, get her on the ground and then see what she looks like. And that's it guys, I can't get much lower than that. I struggle to get on my drive, which is a bit of a pest. But I think I'm happy with the height it's at now. It looks really smart. But that's it guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you found that video useful. I'm definitely happy with how my suspension sits. So just remember to stay safe, stay at home, have some fun on your van. This is Tom, this is T-Dubs. See you all soon.